Hi students, how are you today? I hope that you are fine. Today, I am going to teach you a subtopic from chapter 5, that is section 5.2, damping and resonance. I am your teacher today. My name is Peko Hua, currently teaching at SMJK Dinky China Malacca. For today's lesson, you must able to describe damping and resonance for an oscillating or vibrating system. Secondly, justify effect of resonance in our daily life. For today's lessons, I will separate it to two parts. Part 1. You must able to define meanings of damping, describe damping of an oscillation system, explain the cause of damping in an oscillating or vibrating system, and last for part 1 will be able to explain the way to overcome damping in an oscillating or vibrating system. Firstly, please watch the video clip 1 to help you to understand the damping occurrence in an oscillation system. Please watch carefully. Through the video, what can you see the changes in the oscillating system? Yes, you are right. Swinging is one of the oscillating system. And the video showing that the oscillating system oscillate with a smaller and smaller amplitude and eventually stop completely and what is the cause of the decreasing of the amplitude with time yes you are right this is due to energy loss from the oscillating system resulting from factor by air resistance and friction in the vibrating system so that we can define that damping is a decrease in amplitude of the oscillating system due to loss of energy. Through the video, we know that the amplitude of an oscillating system will gradually decrease and become zero when the oscillation stops. The damping of an oscillation system can be described in graph of displacement against time. In the figure, we know that the amplitude of A1 is greater than amplitude of A2, while the amplitude of A2 is actually greater than amplitude of A3. And amplitude of A3 is actually greater than amplitude of A4. Besides, in this graph, the dot line indicates the decreasing of amplitude of an oscillation with time. In general, the cost, the costs of damping can be classified to two. That is external damping and internal damping. In external damping, the oscillating system losses energy to overcome friction 
and also and resistant while in internal damping oxidizing system losses energy due to extension and compression of the particle in an oscillation system now please watch the video clip number two so that you can differentiate what is the meanings of natural frequency and creative force let's watch in situation one you may see a girl is swinging on the swing and she is crying when the swing is stopped well all right i'll tell you what i'll apply a periodic force to the swing so it never stops okay well for the second situation you may see that her father is trying to push in his daughter and every time apply an external force so that the swing able to continue to swing through the video we know that the way to overcome the damping in an oscillation system is actually applying an external force to it now look at the table you may see that in situation one as i mentioned the girl is swinging on the swing and crying when the swing stops this is actually because of the damping occurrences okay so make the swing oscillate with the smaller and smaller amplitude and eventually stop completely so the system is actually oscillate at its natural frequency okay so when no external force is applied on it in external uh, in situation two a father pushing his daughter who is swinging each time when the swing reaches the highest position so the external force is actually applied in the swing so by doing so the swing will be able to oscillate continuously with a large amplitude so we can conclude that when an oscillating system is forced to vibrate continuously by providing external energy which is called periodic external force the system is said to be in force force oscillation okay now now we are going to part two So student, you must able to define meanings of resonance. Describe resonance for an oscillating or vibrating system. And last, justify the effects of resonance in our daily life. Students, please watch the video clip 3 together to help you understand the concept of resonance via button pendulum the aim of the experiment is help you to understand the production of resonance using the button pendulum in the video you may see that the first ring from left side is replaced and then released it will be act as the external creative force to the oscillating system the oscillation of the ring from the left, left side transfer the energy to other ring and causing all rings to oscillate. The third ring from left side oscillate with the largest amplitude. This because both of the length of pendulum or ring are same length so that they can be said is have the same natural frequency therefore resonance happen to the third ring 
as third ring has same natural frequency as first left ring. Now, the experiment is repeated with second ring from the left side which will be applying the periodic force to the oscillation system and it transfers the energy to others and causing all rings to oscillate so that you can see the resonance occur in first and fourth ring from the right side and showing the biggest amplitude because they have same natural frequency when they have the same length okay so through the experiment of the button pendulum we know that when a periodic force is applied to an oscillating system at its natural frequency the oscillation system is said to be in resonance during resonance system oscillate with, with with its natural frequency and the system oscillate with the maximum amplitude through the experiment of button pendulum we know that the frequency of simple pendulum is depend on the length of the pendulum pendulum which apply external periodic force causes others pendulum to oscillate pendulum which applying external periodic force causes pendulum with same length to oscillate at its natural frequency an oscillating system is said to be in resonance when it is driven at its natural frequency by a periodic force Maximum energy transfer to the system occur and it is showing the largest amplitude. Now, let us see what is the effects of resonance in our daily life. They may have a good effects or bad effects of resonance. Now I want to discuss with you two good effects of resonance in our daily life. First, the tuner in a radio or television enables us to select the program we are interested. The circuit in the tuner. Okay, the circuit in the tuner is adjusted until resonance is achieved at the frequency transmitted by a particular station selected. Hence, a strong electrical signal is produced. Second, the roundness of music produced by musical instrument such as the trumpet and flute is the result of resonance in the air. Now, let us discuss what is the bad effects of resonance. A bridge can collapse when the amplitude of its vibration increases as a result of resonance. In the figure, you may see a group, a, a group of soldiers is marching on the bridge. So, marching soldiers can damage the bridge they cross. This happens when their rate of marching matches the natural frequency of the oscillation of the bridge. Resonance occur and the bridge oscillate with the largest amplitude. And finally, the bridge may damage so that it is advisable for soldiers to break step when crossing a bridge. That's all for today's lesson. I hope that you all enjoy my lesson. Thank you and see you next time.